Hey guys, this is Sidra. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Educate with Sidra. Uh, this uh, video is a continuation of the previous one. Here we are discussing different methods of purification. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. So let's start. Topic we are discussing today is methods of purification. Uh, first, we discuss uh, what what methods used for separating uh, solids and liquids. Number first is the first is filtration. Filtration is basically separating an insoluble solid from a liquid using filter paper. Okay. Example: coffee grounds from coffee. Uh, removing coffee grounds from the coffee. This is the example of filtration. Uh, in this way, we can uh, separate the coffee grounds from coffee that is uh, liquid, right? So this is the way we are separating insoluble solid from a liquid, but using a filter paper. Another example is sand, clay, dust particles, and other insoluble solid from water. Here is the figure. Uh, this is a figure you are uh, you can see this thing. This is a beaker having a mixture of uh, solid and liquid Right, this is a beaker and we are putting into the funnel having the filter paper. This is the filter paper Right In the funnel Right and we have a stirring rod so that we can uh, stir it uh, thoroughly The mixture of solid and liquid we are pouring into the funnel uh, then it comes after passing to the filter paper it will come into the another uh, beaker having the filtrate that is a liquid of the component of the mixture and the rest of the solid collected on this filter paper here you can see the particles over here right so here we can separate the sand clay dust particles in the insoluble solid from water we can separate coffee grounds from coffee and there are so many examples for this now next is evaporation evaporation is the separating a soluble solid from a liquid it is used to recover salt from sea water here is a figure and the figure you can see a glass uh, this is a china dish you can see this is a china dish and in this uh, there are uh, uh, there is a uh, liquid having the soluble solid so we can heat it uh, we are heating it like evaporating it so the water vapor will come out and the rest will be uh, we can recover if it is sea water then we can recover the salt so this is the example of this next is decantation decantation is the alternate to filtration it is uh, for the lower particles uh, uh for the lower particles you can say is just the pouring of a liquid simply if a filter paper is not available then we just pour the liquid into the another beaker right you can see this thing uh we are transferring the uh, liquid from one beaker to the another and this is a clear water and the precipitate will be rest down in the at the bottom you can see this thing this is the precipitate it's rest down in the at the bottom of the beaker so this is just the pouring of a liquid that is simple and it is the alternate of the filtration if you don't have uh, um, uh, availability of the filter paper so you can try this method as well right and if you have a filter paper then you can use the filtration method is up to you so this is the method for the separation of solid and insoluble solid and liquid next is the uh, centrifugation centrifugation is the separate solid particles from suspension Centrifugate is basically a device that can spin things around very quickly. For example, blood, solid collect at the bottom and liquid decanted it off. Solid and liquid components of uh, solid and liquid are the components of a blood, so it can be separated by the centrifugation method. Next is crystallization. Crystallization is a method of getting pure solid sample from its solution. In evaporation, we do we do not get pure residue, but in crystallization, we get pure crystals. For example, sugar, 
is from uh, is collected from the sugar cane juice here's the figure you are evaporating it you are heating it basically water is removed by heating the solution heating is stopped at a stage uh, when a hot saturated solution is formed and now uh, 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 you know what is saturated solution saturated solution is uh, having the, is the solution that have uh, the maximum dissolved solute means no more uh, uh, no more solute can be dissolved in the solution that is the data stage we are uh, we are uh, saying this thing right so water is removed by heating the solution heating is a stop at a stage where uh, when a hot saturated solution is formed then we cool it at a room temperature and then this figure you can see this thing we are cooling it at a room temperature then the dissolved solid crystals will form a as pure crystals you can see this thing it's a filter paper you can dry it on the filter paper right so here is a this is a procedure there are steps first you have to remove the water that in this figure we are removing the water by heating solution and we stop heating at a stage where uh, when a hot saturated solution is formed means maximum solute no more solute dissolve in the so in the solution that is that is stage we just stop heating it right then uh, we removed it from the burner and just cool it at a room temperature here you can see this thing evaporating basin is uh, you are uh, uh, we are uh, now cooling it at a room temperature then the dissolved sol uh, solid will form as pure crystals you can dry it on the filter paper this is a figure on that so this is a procedure of uh, crystallization right we here we are separating solid and liquid but in this you are getting the pure crystals in evaporation we do not get the pure residue right so this is a process of crystallization next is separating solids for separating solids we use uh, a method using a suitable solvent for example sodium chloride and sand so what is the procedure of this thing using a suitable solvent means usually usually we take water as a solvent right nacl nacl uh, if you are separating the solid from a uh, solvent right so it means this thing that nacl should be dissolved uh, uh, one of the component of the separating solids is should be dissolved in uh, water right in, for example in nacl and san you know this thing sodium chloride dissolve in water that uh, sodium chloride dissolve in water and san obviously you know this thing uh, it doesn't dissolve in the water right so the method is that we take sodium chloride and sand mixture and we dissolve in water then after dissolving in water you know this thing sodium chloride dissolve in water and sand do not then what will happen next when we will do the filtration i should write it over here dissolve in water next step is filtration and uh, we will do the filtration so there are two things right uh, filtrate we will collect the, we have two things one is filtrate that is cover uh, that is the sodium chloride solution nacl solution now we are saying this is nacl solution mean nacl plus h2o right and the other thing that is collected as a residue that is on the filter paper we have already discussed the filtration topic right so what will be the residue guess any guesses yes sand sand collected as a residue on the filter paper okay and but in this sand we maybe have some uh, traces of sodium chloride solution solution so we can wash with water uh, with this okay uh, residue wash it with the water again now what is the filtrate filtrate is nacl solution here we are separating the solids and is separated now where is nacl this is a solution this is not an nacl right so what will happen next nacl we have to collect the nacl we will do the evaporation method here and we already discussed what is the evaporation method let's recall separating soluble solid from a liquid it is used to recover the salt from the water in which we are heating the uh, um, salt solution on the evaporating dish and we will collect the 
solved. The result will be the after evaporation NaCl. So we collected NaCl and we collected sun. Uh, note is uh, you have to know this thing in mind that uh, only one is soluble in solvent. You have to select uh, that solvent in, in which only one soluble is so, uh, is soluble in water. Means uh, you cannot take that uh, solvent in which NaCl and sand both dissolve. Okay, so we cannot collect uh, the solids, right? Next is separating solid method uh, is using a magnet. Separating magnetic substances from a non-magnetic substances. Right, example iron from the mixture of iron and sulfur. This is a very easy example. You can see this thing if you have uh, iron and sulfur mix in that in the, uh, you can try this in your lab. Um, uh, iron and sulfur then put it, uh, then take a magnet and uh, you see this thing, the iron will stick to the magnet. It attracts the iron. You see this thing, and the remaining in the dish will be the sulfur. So here we can separate uh, the magnetic substance from a non-magnetic sub substance. Here, iron is a magnetic substance, and substance is a uh, sulfur is a non-magnetic substance. Next method is uh, sublimation. Sublimation is uh, the method in which it separate which separate solid that sublimed from one that does not. Okay, example is iodine and sand, right? Uh, and sub, uh, sublime, what does what is the meaning of sublime? Means that converts solid into gas directly. Solid to gas directly without going into the liquid stage. Okay, this is what we call sublime. So, um, it uh, this is the figure. Here we are heating, we are giving heat over here. Right, this is a china dish in which we are having the uh, camphor and sand. We are taking the mixture of camphor and sand. What will happen next? Uh, the fumes, uh, one of the thing, amphor will convert into the gas that is sublime, solid to gas directly. You can see this thing. This is a we are. Uh, this is a gas particles, right? And this is a filter funnel, uh, inverted funnel. We are taking covered with the solid cotton uh, wool. So it will uh, solidify the camphor in this. You can see this thing. That is called desublimation. So here we sub we are separating both sol uh, solids, right? Next is separating liquids. What are the method for separating liquids? Uh, using a separating funnel. Separating funnel used to separate immiscible liquid. What does it mean by the immix imm immiscible? It means this thing that will not mix. That will not mix. Example is oil and water. Oil and water are miscible. You can know you all you know this thing. Obviously, oil and water do not mix with each other. If you don't know this thing, that you can try it at your home. Take a uh, go in the kitchen and take oil and put uh, some oil, water in that. You uh, you come to know this thing that they do not resolve, right? So you can try it at your home. This is a good example. This is oil. This is water. We are uh, using it with the funnel, and this is separate. You can see this thing. This is a liquid because oil uh, is at the upper level, right? This is the upper level. It, it doesn't mix with the water, so you can easily separate it with the separating funnel. Next is uh, separating liquids uh, is uh, fractional distillation. This method is used to separate mixture of miscible liquid with the different uh, boiling points. Miscible means that will mix together, right? Example is argon, nitrogen and oxygen from air. This is the example. So this is a figure. Uh, Bunsen burner, round bottom flask. This is a fractionating column. This is a thermometer because you uh, know the you should you can come you come to know about the boiling point from this uh, thermometer. And this is a condenser. Here uh, the water comes out, right? And this is a uh, whatever the liquid you are collecting is that will collect it here. Another example is uh, ethanol uh, and water. Ethanol basically having 78 degree centigrade that will distilled out first and water having the uh, boiling point of uh, 
um, 100 degree centigrade that will uh, distill out at the second right Now the another method separating a liquid from a solution is simple distillation. In the simple distillation, we are just used to is used to basically separate as pure solvent. Uh, solvent means liquid from a solution. It boils the liquid and condenses the vapors. It simply boils the liquid and condenses the va uh, vapor. For example, water from salt solution. Both simple uh, distillation and fractional distillation involve boiling and condensation. Right. Having a simple, uh, few differences, we will discuss it in the next uh, slides. Uh, this is the figure. You are taking the distillation flask, uh, and this is a clam. This is steam. You are, you, we are uh, heating the solute salt solution. The steam will uh, steam is going this way. Right. And it uh, steam uh, uh, having the vapor, then it will condense. Uh, I mean, this is a evaporation method. Then it is it, here is a condensation method. It condenses the water into the liquid again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel, like and comment.